Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse the Planets. I know you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when we post new content. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Do it now, so watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith to Facts today. You know, the world's going to hell in a handbasket, isn't it? I don't know whoever came up with that statement, but it makes total sense. And I find that a lot of Christian people are not in peace. What does peace mean? Possession of adequate resource. Nothing broken, nothing missing. So I want to talk about peace today. The three types of peace. The peace of God. The peace from God and then the peace with God. Three different types. And yes, some people are really disturbed that how can we have the peace of God with the world going crazy? Or, my God, where is God at? Does he know where I'm at? Because they don't understand the peace from God. And then the peace of God. When you have that one, you say, it don't make no difference what anybody says. I know what God's gonna do. Let me give you a scripture. St. John chapter 14, verse 27. This is Jesus talking. Peace I leave with you. So he didn't take it. My peace I give unto you. So it's personal, it's his. Not as the world give it. Boy, you know the world don't give you no peace at all. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You know, so many people say, boy, just the friends don't seem to worry about a thing. Well, I, he said, let not my heart be troubled. Why are we going to believe the word of God? See, see, that's the peace of God. See, I accepted that when Jesus said, my peace I give. I said, okay. Then there may no difference with the world. says, now I don't deny what's happening out there, but I have peace of God concerning me and my destiny and my destination. Here's another wonderful scripture in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10. He says, for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart. I like that. From thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed. So not only did he give us a gift, he cut a covenant with us. Shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. So think about that, that covenant, man. He's, and in Psalms 89, 34, my covenant will it not break, nor alter the thing that goes out of my lips. So not only do you have the gift of peace, you have a covenant of peace. And God won't break that covenant. Now, I don't like what I see in the world today, especially in the political realm and the different things that are going on. I mean, things are crazy how people are killing each other just for no reason whatsoever at all. I mean, just people don't know what to do. But you know what? I mean, that's not going to move me because God gave me the peace of God, the peace with him. So when I'm with him, I'm not, oh, God, you're not mad at me, huh? No, I have peace with him and peace from him because he never leaves me or forsakes me. And he's a very kind God. He really is. But there's a judgment side to it, just like there's a judgment side to you. You can be very kind to your children and you just love them. But if they quit, if they don't do what you tell them to do over and over and over, they're going to see a little judgment from you. See what I'm saying? Might be a punishment. You can't do this. You can't do that or whatever. You see what I'm saying? It's not that you want to kill them. And so many people accuse God of all that craziness. And he's not because he says, my kindness shall not depart from thee. Isaiah 54, 10. I like that, see? So when you understand that, you understand the covenant of peace. So now what you're going through? Think about that for a minute. Okay. If things are tough? Yeah. Let's get through it. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? It didn't say, do I stop, build a house, and canonize the place? You see what I'm saying? Trouble is in the world. We're in the world, but watch this. We're not of the world. So the trouble of the world, it, 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 it doesn't apply to me. Because you see, I live in a different world in this world. I live by the faith of the Son of God, not my faith, by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and he gave himself for me so I don't frustrate the grace of God. Do you see what I'm saying? See, this word has an answer for every situation you can come up with or coming against you. And it doesn't make any difference. I mean, I know I, 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 I may sound like I'm making light of it. Well, let me help you. It is light. It is. I don't care what he does. Satan's already been defeated restricted and rejected and waiting confinement. Ladies and gentlemen, we've already won. Do you understand that? You've already won. The race has been won. All you got to do is receive the prize. Keep that smile on your face. That'll aggravate the devil, Lord Jesus. Why? 
because you see there's three types of peace. Let me say it again. The peace of God. Oh God, thank you. The peace with God. Man, it's so much fun serving you today. The peace from God. It don't, if I hadn't heard from you in a while, don't make no difference. I do know your covenant of peace is always with me. Do you see that? Don't complicate that. Just let that flow in your life and you'll have possession of adequate resource, spiritually, physically, and financially, all three. And you can say, live long and prosper, like Mr. Spock does. <laughs> Till next time, see you later. Bye-bye. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.